Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up your Jenkins server on Ubuntu hosted on AWS. So use the link in the description box to come to this image on the marketplace and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine. So for that simply click on continue to subscribe. And then from this page, you need to click on accept terms. And then you can see that your subscription is being validated. So you need to wait for a little while. After your subscription has validated, simply click on continue to configuration and then choose the AMI software version and the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. When you're satisfied, click on continue to launch and then you can launch the EC2 virtual machine from either the website or the EC2 management console. So I'm going to change it to launch through EC2 and then click on launch. And then in a new tab, you will be taken to EC2 management console where you can customize your virtual machine. So Give your virtual machine a particular name. I'm going to call it Jenkins server. Make sure that the image selected is the one that you got from the description box. Choose the instance type. Choose the key pair that you want to use for this particular virtual machine. You can either create a new pair or you can use an already existing one. Scroll down and when you're satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch instance. Now this is going to deploy your instance on the region that you have selected. When that is done, simply click on view all instances to view my newly created instance. So you can see that my virtual machine is still in a pending state. So I need to wait for a little while for it to change its state from pending to running. And as soon as it changes its state from pending to running, you can access its public IP. So click on it, copy this public IPv4 address, open up a new tab, paste the address, add the port number 8080 and hit enter. The reason that you have added this particular port number is that Jenkins listens to port number 8080. As you can see that Jenkins is still processing. So wait for a little while for Jenkins to start. So now you're taken to this page where you can see that the Jenkins is locked. And to unlock this, you need to open up this file and get the password from that file. So to access this file, we need to open a new SSH terminal. So go back to your EC2 management console, right click on your virtual machine and click on connect. Now you see this particular command, copy this command open up a command prompt or a PowerShell, paste this command and replace the path for the key. After putting in the path for your private key, simply hit enter. And then when prompted, type in yes. Now that you have successfully logged into the SSH terminal, go back to the Jenkins page, copy the path to the file, come back to the terminal, type in the command sudo cat and then paste the path and hit enter. Now you see this particular password. So copy this password. Come back to Jenkins, paste the password and hit continue. And now you would be able to unlock the Jenkins. And now it is asking us to install either the suggested plugins or the plugins that I specify. So I'm going to click on install suggested plugins. And then you simply need to wait for all of the plugins to be installed to your Jenkins server. All the plugins have been installed. You will be taken to this particular page where you can create your first admin user. So give it a username, a password, confirm the password, give the full name of the admin and give an email address and then click on save and continue. After that, it is asking us if we have a URL associated with this particular virtual machine. So for this tutorial, we're just going to leave it like this and click on save and finish. And then you are basically done with setting up your Jenkins server. Now click on this button that says start using Jenkins to go to the dashboard of Jenkins. And just like that, you are in the dashboard of Jenkins where you can create jobs, automate testing and do much more. So that brings us to the end of this video. So in case you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section and make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for this particular Jenkins image and for the step by step blog post guide on our website. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.